Okay, so to get get the elephant in the room out of the way, <laughs> so CSAM stands for uh, Child Sexual Abuse Material. And this is a pretty serious topic for us, so uh, we're not going to take it as lighthearted as we normally do. Uh, the whole thing started for us uh, in 2022. Uh, we were at the first conference, and there was a keynote uh, talking about some some really interesting concerns, namely that we as, uh, 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 as basically security folks uh, very often don't do enough basically for uh, for protecting and removing CSAM material from our networks. And this is indeed a good point. It is something that we don't focus on enough. And one of, one of the points raised uh, uh, by, by a talk by Mick Moran and Romain Vatel at the time was uh, that there are a bunch of these uh, hash sets out there for detecting CSAM, but they're not being used by the security and the sysadmin community out there uh, for blocking and alerting on it. So one of the ideas was that we start using those, and we and we immediately jumped on the idea. This was a really good idea. We should absolutely start doing this. And this is a second issue that is, I think is quite important with CSAM materials. As security researcher, incident responder, you basically don't want to see that content. You don't want to watch it and so on. You don't want to be in contact with it. And having hash sets of those materials as an incident responder makes sense. It's very important. So for us, it's, it was really key and an important element. And we were like, we do tools, things that are used on a day-to-day -day basis, and we could help everyone to basically get rid of this content and so on. Um, so we wanted to incorporate it into tools that we are developing like MISP and others, uh, and to have that by default. But Until, <laughs> then problem starts. Um, yeah. So during that conference, we basically go back to the police officer and we say, where could we get, uh, where can we get these hash sets and how can we get these informations? And we didn't get a clear answer on that. Yeah. So what, one of the things that we noticed was that these sets are not only not, uh, not openly accessible, but they're very often part of paid feeds and services. A lot uh, of secret source goes into them and companies are not really willing to part with that information. Very often they are giving them away for close communities such as law enforcement agency, but for us open source folks, there isn't anything out there basically. So it's for us, it's quite interesting because we are wondering about why are those sets not available? It, it would solve a lot of problems. Um, and one of the things that uh, the police officer and, and some law enforcement agencies and organizations having such kind of asset told us, they were uh, uh, worried that those feeds could be used by pedophile and basically match their content. Which is something that is like completely, I think, sorry for the word, stupid. Because the thing is, we had exactly the same argument in 2012 with IOCs. I remember discussion of organization, no, we won't share IP addresses, you know, they might help the attacker. And that's exactly the same point here. If we had the data, we could basically help and detect, but nowadays we cannot do it. And we have a strong suspicion that it's a lucrative business, and that's why those hash sets are not available. So again, why do we want this? So first of all, as Alex mentioned, indeed, hiding unwanted content for analysts is something that is plaguing us all the time. I mean, if you do any crawling and so on, you will come across content that you really don't want to see. So being able to detect it and hide it right away would be interesting. Being able to detect and alert in, on our networks, letting law enforcement know uh, that there is someone basically seeking out this content or that this content is being shared in a resource would be great to do in an automated fashion. And we would really speed up the entire uh, and break the economy of basically CSAM. So, I mean, it has a lot of really good uh, outcomes if we were be, uh, able to do this. So what can we do? Um, so the thing that we are trying to do is basically to get our hand on, on those hash sets to help everyone. Um, and some idea that we have is to be basically build our own data sets uh, and to have those hash sets. So obviously, we don't want to get in touch and, and, and see those contents, but we want to do it automatically. Um, so one of the things that we are doing is maybe to automatically detect some on an address that we are calling in AIL and generating those hash sets automatically. That will be a start test. And maybe to extend uh, and test AI detections methods to see if we can just automatically generate those hash sets uh, from existing content. 
So to wrap it all up, uh, we are stuck with this issue. We're trying to resolve it, but we're not, de we're definitely not getting the cooperation and support that we're, we're hoping from certain law enforcement agencies and from companies that are vendors selling these data sets. So if you have such data sets, if you're willing to part with them and release it to the open source, we're here, here to help you make it happen and to protect society at large with that. So that's about it. Great. Thank you all. Thank you very much.